They certainly are a pair. He's only had six possessions and uh, they work so well together. Darren Jarman, he doesn't need assistance. He finds the football by himself. 18 kicks already. In there is Phelps. Now, he has worked hard, Jeffrey Phelps. Boyd taps it out towards Geneva. Peter Bennett picks up the crumbs. This could be a goal. The left foot kick on its way. The umpire moves a little. And that's Bennett's first and the Roosters ninth. In yeah, North Adelaide, just with, with too many power points at the moment. He can't find a Rover this time. Oh, well done, Obst. Puts it out, Draganza Brown. Port Adelaide into attack. Draganza butters up, takes his five, puts it on its way, gives it a chance. What a great goal, Simon Draganza. Redden. Oh, on the flyers, Russell Boyd on the left leg. Here's a chance. Puts it up for Marnie. 30 metres out, chips away. Port have got number two on the board. Redden. Sets himself, wins an all. Oh, that tap was actually negated by both Ruckman. Ginova in there, extracts the ball from the pack around his body. Tiller leading in the chase, stolen by Foster if he can control it. Tried to give it over to Tregenza. In turn, he was searching for Boyd. Back to Foster. The handball out wide finds Marnie. He has three, kicks around his body. Front position, Trenorden, great courage. Riley picks up the crumbs, out to Simmons. The pass is short. Oh, Marnie tripped. Play on the call. Jarman in there, the Port supporters aren't happy, I thought he was led. Now the ball is out with Stephen Riley, needs support. The ball back to Johnston, there's a blue one in the forward pocket, I think it's Marnie and Andrew Jarman. Nevertheless, it's Russell Boyd with the football. Oh, fearless approach, and he's been rewarded. And there should be 15 metres, and there is. Yeah, the 15 metres was totally undisciplined. Uh, unlucky Port Adelaide play diving forward did get uh, collected around the head region. This game hotting up, you can feel Port Adelaide. This is going to be their comeback, Kim, and uh, we know they always come back, and it looks like this game's really lifted. We've got Marnie and Andrew Jarman carrying on behind play, and, uh, you know, it is a great game of footy. This would be more than handy. We've had 10 minutes of the third term. He lines up 20 metres out. He put it through the middle. 45 points opposed to 63, the Pies are fighting back. It would be more than handy, we've had 10 minutes of the third term, he lines up 20 metres out, he put it through the middle, 45 points opposed to 63, the Pies are fighting back. Yeah, the Port Adelaide crowd are certainly on their feet now, they can sense this is a revival. Wayne Marnie has been getting some very important touches in the forward line. Uh, Russell Boyd since being on this quarter, and there's a big fight on behind play, Marnie's just been hit and gone down and uh, they're all into it and uh, I don't think any umpire saw that uh, little contest between Stephen Riley and uh, Wayne Marnie. All the umpires have come running from everywhere. It'll be interesting to see what happens out of all this. Already we believe that Roger Carlaw has had his number taken by two umpires after an incident in the first quarter. Now we see what's going to happen here. Umpire Michael Abbott right in there. I haven't seen any numbers taken. He's speaking to Stephen Riley. He's also spoken to Wayne Marnie. Well, they were the two fellows in the actual brawl. We saw umpire, uh, the goal umpire come in as well. And there is still a lot of bad blood there between these two players. Umpire Hilton, I don't know whether he's trying to find his number or what's happening. John Riley coming in, in to just to separate these two players. It's all happening here on Father's Day, I can tell you. A great game of football, plenty of antagonism out there. And, well, looking at the scoreboard, North 9-9 to Port Adelaide 7-3. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we're going to get the uh, game underway once more. Michael Abbott and Jack Hilton send the odds on again behind play. Riley and Marty, and they're into it. I tell you what, oh, look at brother John. I tell you what, they're not karate chops out there. They're fair being punches. Have a look at that. Well, Mount Michael Abbott will never get the bounce this football. Oh. Oh, and Marnie, that one's hurt him. Now, incredible. Kimbo, I'm not quite sure how badly hurt he is, but uh, one, one thing these players have got to remember, this is a serious game, but the finals are on in a few weeks. Can you do that when you haven't bounced the ball? I don't know. He's going to give a free kick to Wayne Marnie. Obviously he can yeah. because he's done it. The umpire can give a free kick no matter when. He can give it after the siren sounds. Even when he's called time off. I suppose he can, but he hasn't rebounded the football. And Marnie won't be able to take the kick, I can tell you, although he's up on his feet. He is a tough cookie. 
as I've said so often, he'd rather a fight than a feed, but I think he's getting more feeds than he needs this afternoon. Stephen Riley is obviously the uh, the player that's been pinged for it, and uh, Marnie is still in the hands of trainers. You can see he's not a well chick at the moment, and it's Hodges with the kick for goal. I was just about to mention the man with the football is normally pretty accurate, and uh, I think North Adelaide are playing into the hands of Port Adelaide. They'll pay the penalty for this because the harder it gets, the more Port like it, and he banged it through. Yeah, it's really uh, undisciplined stuff by. Uh North Adelaide defence and they uh, cannot afford to give sides e easy goals like that. Peter, and, uh, you are assuming that the North Adelaide defence started it? Oh, I'm not assuming they started it, but uh, they've got to be above that sort of thing, Ian. You've got to be able to cop it sweet. And, you know, that's how well, poor Peter, they did love start it. it. They did start well, it. That's why, why the say... free kick was given. Yeah, but hang on just a second. I don't think that's being fair, Kim, because you're saying that Marnie wasn't involved in it at all, and I don't believe that. Well... The umpire obviously saw it in or he wouldn't have made the decision. Well, I agree with that, but I don't see how an umpire can make the decision when he's bouncing the ball at centre and a fight goes on 55 metres away. No way. Well, there's two umpires there. That's why the decision was made. Still Nevertheless... Both 55 metres away. Andrew Jarman with the football. And the free kick will go the way of North Adelaide. We've had 14 minutes of the third term. It's pretty hot out there. It's getting that way up here as well. Fit Kimbo, the only thing I can say, North Adelaide got in front playing footy and they'd be far better advised to uh, play footy at the moment than do anything else. Yeah, but, uh, gee, I can't understand you guys. Who do you reckon, why do you reckon Port Adelaide are doing all this? Because they can't win the football. Any rate, holding the ball against Foster. The crowd do not like that. The top. Boyd hasn't got the football and must win the free kick. And the crowd like that one. I get the uh, impression that there's a preponderance of Port Adelaide supporters in the stand. And uh, I tend to think in the commentary box. <laughs> Crikey, this game is lightening up at the 16-minute mark of the third term. Um, Ian, I've never been accused of being a Port Adelaide supporter before. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, well, hang on, there's a couple here behind the scenes. <laughs> i tell you what, Daisy, you took your life in your own hands when you said that. Super was up and out of the seat in a flash. So I'm not real happy about it. I'm in the middle. Port Adelaide have the free kick through Hodges. Trevor Clisby just uh, discussing the situation with Michael Abbott. And Scott Hodges has an opportunity to put his side six points closer. 51 play 63. Kick number six. He's kicked two goals. Gee, he started from a long way out. He could have run in another 10 metres. Oh, there's Boyd. Oh, look at Boyd. He's kicked another goal. Oh, do you reckon he's not happy? Edges the ball out towards the half-back flank. Redden there, big leaf obs, more gymnastic than effective. Gets the kick away. That came off the boot of Hutton. Well done, Tregenza. Couldn't get effective handball out. Marty can't. Tregenza a chance. Gets it up. Marty! Oh, what a goal! Number four. Tied up the ball game. Everybody, including the commentators, on the edge of the seat. And that's what they pay to see. Entertainment galore, 63 points both team at the bounce. Bennett tried to hook it back, Harrison can't, Andrew Jarman out to Burton, hooks towards goal, close, brilliantly done. The one North Adelaide needed, the steadier. Quite get there, here's a chance, Marnie again, breaks through the pack. Oh, the kick is not a good one. I think the lad's either exhausted or he's not well, I can understand why. Here's a chance, Lady Evans there, boy! Jeff Phelps. Sean Tasker's not had a good day with the boot. Two points only. Foster kicks into the man. Burton well played. He can come back to Tasker now. Tasker from 35 out. He's going to have a shot this time. What's he done? And he has got it. Oh, whatever he's done, Smart's got it next. Well, Tasker's missed them from everywhere and he puts one through from an impossible angle. He's 30 metres clear. Bumbles once. Could get run down, gets the kick underway. Trelawden quickly over the top. Hines! Oh, what a grab! Excitement galore. Unbelievable football in this third quarter. It has had everything. Trelawden in the right spot. Almost Hodges being run down, got the kick away. And Hines has got a chance from five metres out. And this will tie up the ball game if successful. He doesn't miss.